just like that. And you'll have to trim the little bit of tape that covered the uh, cabane strut hole here. Cut that tape out of there. Again, roll it to the first aileron bevel and flip it back and roll your thumb on the other half, just like so. Cut away the excess here and the cover in the hole. Make sure the aileron is not sticking up above the wing. Push down a little bit if it is. Good flexing. Good. Then do that to the, both the top and the bottom wing. Let's go ahead and do the stabilizer now. And uh, when you remove this scotch tape from uh, the stab, what you want to do is just pick it up a little bit on the edge with your knife. Pick up a little bit of that tape. Fold it over, and you want to roll it off where you're just sliding your finger across the tape. And it's roll, you'll see it rolling up. That'll prevent the tape from pulling up any, any printing. If you just go and rip it off, it could, could pull some of the print off. So just roll it back upon itself. It'll come right off. Come off nice and clean. The reason I tape these together is to prevent the, uh, the vulnerable uh, edge here that's really sharp. Prevent that from getting banged around in the bag and getting damaged. This is the whole reason I keep it together like this. There's also three pieces of tape on the spar that have to be removed. We'll go ahead and pull the spar out with the knife, grab it at the end, pull it up. It's still, it's still taped on the top. I'll be using Foam Safe CA on any foam part built uh, on this airplane. And I'm using a Great Plains Medium Foam Safe CA. Definitely have some paper towels available when you do any gluing. And a nice sharp tip on here, new bottle. I'm going to go ahead and put it right down in the groove and just run a small bead down the middle of that groove from end to end. I'm going to take my carbon spar and I'll just squirt it a little bit with accelerator, push it into one end nice and hard and drop it on in there. This is where you might want to use your paper towel in case any glue gets pushed up. And I'll go ahead and take a, a little bit right down the back side of that spar. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a spray there. Wait a few seconds and then just real lightly 
very lightly, just almost just letting it ride across, wipe off any of the excess. I'm going to go ahead and pull that tape off now and hinge the elevator. Again, just like the ailerons, half of the tape is on the horizontal stabilizer and the other half is hanging over the end. And then I cut the uh, excess off here. Now when I put these together, I'm going to start at one end, hold one end away from the other like that, and line up the print. The print will always line up on the on these. I'm just kind of stick it down here on, on this end. And then move it all the way over to the next end. You may have to pick the tape up a little bit if it starts to bubble. A little light. And then lay it down nice and light. Go. Put it over to the back side. And you put the tape just just cover the spar. Again, that's three sixteenths of an inch or thereabouts. And with this thumb right here, I'm actually pushing forward just slightly. And you'll see that this edge right in here gets a lot tighter together. So when I, when I actually do this fold, there was a little bit of pressure this way as I fold it. It comes out with a little bit better edge. And roll the tape over, stretch the tape out here. Flex it and give it a good stretch. There it is. Give you really good motion really fast. Let's go ahead and put together the fuselage. So we have our fuselage side and our, our fuselage uh, uh, <clears throat> cross brace, I call it. And like my other foamies, you'll have to take a straight edge. And you're going to want to cut right through the center of uh, these slots right here, through the, where the foam is connected. You cut right through the center between the slots. Use that straight edge to actually take your knife and, and put a mark on the front side and the back side. You know, right, right in that area where they, where they join together. Just put a little mark right in the center. And then even on the back one here, I'll give you an easy line up here. Cannot stress enough, use a brand new blade. Or a blade that's only been cutting foam. I actually have one knife I use uh, just for cutting foam. And then I have another handle and blade just for cutting uh, anything else, you know, plywood or tape. There we go. Put those separated perfectly in half. Now we're going to just like my other ones, we're gonna my other outdoor foamies, we slide the front one into into place like such where we we actually put it too far forward, line up the tab, and then just pull it back into position until these other tabs are lining up. And drop it in there. Don't be afraid to, to work the 